Deuteronomy's ratification law is not correct. <clears throat> so when we spoke this morning real quick, you said one of the things you want to look at was whether or not there was some nervousness. And I think tying back into your title of turning triumph into, or turning tragedy into triumph, you did pretty darn good for your first speech. You know, maybe a little quivering, but not much. Get on that YouTube video and you'll see exactly where you are. Great thing to have. And your story of turning tragedy into triumph. I mean, I listened to what you're talking about there. And yes, you've done it. You, you've done it. The strong points. I have a testimony. I've been blessed. You talk about the kids and telling them to put their mind to it and they can accomplish their desires and dreams. And you told your story in that opening about where you were and where you've come. Pretty darn neat. You come across very positive. You seem like one of those girls who's the, my glass is half full and not less. Sort of and so, as we begin to listen to you through your speech, I feel like we really start to get to know you pretty darn good. I hear a lot of other speeches that are going to come out of there, whether they're for this group or for the community. I think especially in the community, it's going to be huge to see those stories come out of that. So keep, keep that up. You know, some of the other questions that we look at as we go through the, the reviews, the evaluations, is did the speech reflect adequate preparation? I can tell you put all of your thoughts down, the stories down on paper, and you had them in order thinking about it. You know, the biggest thing when we start up our speeches is just practicing that speech numerous times in advance. Uh, Russ and Mark and I have the good fortune of working with a, a past Toastmasters person. This guy will beat it in our head. We need to practice our speeches 30 times before we actually give the speech. <laughs> and it sounds nuts, but there's a lot to it. <laughs> Did you speak clearly and audibly? Yes, all in all. Practicing ahead, it'll help smooth out the slow spots, the fast spots, help create that pause where you can create some <clears> emphasis. <throat> I think about those stories, those songs, the verses of your grandmother, giving a little bit of pause at those moments. You really put some power and snap into what she told you. I look at, at, at that whole thing of your grandmother and bringing her in there. And I think what a great tribute to her, and it really shows the obvious legacy that's going to live on from you and taking that out into the end of the community. And uh, use of notes, wrapping it up with you. You did pretty good. I can tell you worked on it, but going back to that practice and that speech 30 times in advance, you'll get it nailed. You did a nice job. <laughs> 